Hello, welcome to another weekly talk. I'm just going to make sure I've got the chat up so I can see all the comments that come in. Let me know that you're watching, say hi. There we go, checking it's all working. I think there's been about three times where I've come on live and it's actually been muted the whole time. So I always double check now to make sure that we are live and that it's working, so perfect. Okay, so as usual, say hi. Let me know that you're here, even if you're watching the replay, say hi as well. Let me know who's watching, who's joining in today as we talk about rewriting the rules of getting older. So if you haven't seen, I did do a blog post about this um, last week. Yeah, just double checking the date. Yep, last week. So today we are going to be talking about how we can rewrite the rules of getting older because as we age it is a very common misconception to believe that our bodies become stiffer and less flexible. But this neglects to, to add in the transformative power of yoga and yoga can really help to reverse the effects of aging in our bodies. I'm not saying that this is like the magical, you know, come and do yoga and you're going to live forever thing, but it is going to help with the stiffness and joint flexibility. And that is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So if you do have any questions as we go through this, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to answer it. So first of all, let's talk about the misconceptions about aging and flexibility. OK, because what I hear a lot is I'm too old to improve my flexibility or flexibility decreases as I get older is a very common one. Or maybe that flexibility training is only for the young. So I know that I have definitely heard all of these from people. Um, so let's break those three things. So the first one, I'm too old to improve my flexibility. Age is never a barrier to improving your flexibility. It is true that as we age, our bodies do undergo some changes. Um, you know, hormones, for one, is a major factor in this. But regular flexibility can significantly enhance and maintain flexibility at any age. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there's this video going around on TikTok of this lady in her 90s who is like the most bendiest person I have ever seen, way more bendier than me. So age is just not really a factor in this because as long as you're working on it and improving your flexibility, it comes with time. So the second one, which I've pretty much just answered is, you know, flexibility decreases as I get older. But if you're working on it constantly, it's like with anything, you work on it and it is going to improve. Flexibility does not decline with age it declines with not being used so if you're not using it that is when your body starts to lose it and as we get older we do like <laughs> this is a, a prime example you look at a child bouncing around the place constantly right you look at an older person then we sat in the chair okay so it's kind of obvious how that can happen right less movement means less flexibility and I'm not saying that, you know, people just need to get up and move. Obviously they do, but it's, I know it's not as simple as that. And as you age, not only um, your flexibility is going to decrease because you're, you're sat more, but people end up sitting more because they're getting older. They haven't got the energy. Their bone density changes, which means you get more fragile bones. So it worries you, right? So a lot of people do. Take that and think, okay, I can't do as much. I'm just going to sit and not do as much, basically. But there are so many things you can do to add flexibility into your routine that is so simple. There's like this chair yoga, for example. You can literally sit in a chair and, you know, do some exercises to improve your flexibility. Um, but enough on that one. Right, the third one <laughs> is flexibility training is only for the young. That's completely not true because again, for all the reasons I've just said, 
But flexibility training is not just for like athletics, which I think a lot of people think. Um, it is a practice that can benefit people of all ages because it promotes better joint health, better mobility, better overall well-being. If you want to feel younger, you need to loosen the body. Okay, so let's get a little bit deeper into the power of flexibility as you age. So it does improve your joint health. Flexibility training helps to lubricate the joints. Every time you move, you are lubricating a joint. Okay, we've spoken about this before. I will find uh, the video on that if anybody wants it. So if you do, let me know. Um, but it improves blood circulation and reduces stiffness in the body. It promotes better joint mobility. Say, so not only does moving help stretch the muscles, but you're also improving your joints every time you move, which reduces the risk of age related conditions such as arthritis and joint degeneration which is very, very common as you age, right? So how are you gonna stop feeling older? Do these things, move, get some mobility, some flexibility, keep moving the body, and you will see a increased, um, you know, flow of blood, first of all, which is the biggest thing, because the more blood circulation you've got, the better your body is working. And, you know, everything else I've just said. So the second thing is it does enhance your balance and your stability. As we age, um, balance becomes a very big, big problem. As most people will see, you know, you end up with walkers or walking sticks or old people like holding on to, on to people for balance because your balance is affected. Now, not only is that obviously from lack of flexibility as well, but because of the things I've said before, right? So um, bone health, first off, and lack of energy. That's not gonna help your balance and stability. But if we can do something to help that, then of course we should. So flexibility exercises combined with strength training, because remember I said the bone density, so if you add a little bit of strength training in that as well, can really help to improve your balance, your coordination, your stability, and that reduces the risks of falls and injuries, which is very common in elderly people, right? So if you can get all this going before you get older, you've got a higher chance of being a little bit healthier as you age with that as well. The other thing is it increases your range of motion. So flexibility training increases the length and extensibility of muscles and tendons and ligaments. This leads to a greater range of motion, allowing for easier movement in daily activities and improved overall mobility. Okay, you imagine, you know, you're moving things, the bigger motion you've got, the easier it is to do things. If you fall and you have got the, the mobility and the range of motion there to stop yourself, to put your hands flat, you know, you're going to stop falling on your elbow, falling on your joints as much. The other thing is better posture and alignment. Now, this does go a little bit in with balance and stability as well. They're very, very closely linked. But aging often brings postural changes, such as rounded shoulders. That's a very common one. And a forward head position. You see a lot of people kind of hunched over. And normally this can be because, again, people sit a little bit too long. So doing opening exercises, rolling your shoulders back, opening the chest, lifting your head up. Anything where you are opening the front of your body is really, really going to help with that. Because you do end up getting extremely tight here. Okay, if you imagine sitting for so long, we talk about this anyway, like even young people sit. Um, hunched over phones or computers, working, driving, we're always in that kind of hunched over position. So it's so good for us to open up and actually open the lungs, get a little bit more breath in there, let the, the heart have a little bit more space to, to work. Okay. 
It's going to help strengthen your back, which again is going to help with your posture. So it really does help to promote proper alignment in return, improves your posture and reduces the discomfort in your body as well. Okay, so so many benefits, so many benefits to improving your flexibility as we age. The last one that I want to talk about is pain relief and stress reduction, because that is a really big thing that I think a lot of people don't know that that is really closely linked to flexibility. Because flexibility training, particularly through yoga, incorporates deep breathing. You're opening your chest. Relaxation, because every time you are focusing on your breath, your mind isn't wandering. You actually relax your mind a little bit more. But also every time you take a long exhale, which you do when you're doing a deep breath, your body relaxes. Every time you take that really long exhale, it sends that signal to your brain that you're safe, that you can relax. And it's really, really great for mindful techniques. So all of these practices together help alleviate pain, they reduce stress, and they enhance your overall well-being, leading to a more positive and fulfilling aging experience. This is why I am <laughs> coming live every week. I'm constantly yoga, 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 because it ha just has so many benefits. And I think a lot of people don't quite understand exactly why they should be doing this transformative thing okay because it isn't just about gaining flexibility even though that has such major health benefits it does also help with the mind as well okay so how can we start getting this into our lives and you know start to actually feel the effects of this start feeling a little bit younger in our bodies and our minds the first one is to start gentle, okay? Always start gentle with these things. If you go in it like full throttle, kind of 24 seven, yoga, 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 power yoga, hot yoga, you're gonna burn out really easy, okay? So start gentle. Yoga offers such a wide range of different classes, different sequences, they can be modified to really help accommodate people of different levels and flexibility. So, to start with, there's gentle yoga, which is very calm. The, it's in the name, right? Gentle, very gentle yoga. There's restorative. Now, restorative is where you don't normally feel much in your muscles. It is very much about the mind and relaxing. Okay, so um, that's a really great one for complete and utter beginners. And there are also specific beginner friendly classes. You'll know this if you've been on my YouTube channel. All of these normally come because, because they're known to be a little bit gentler, they normally come with a lot of modifications in the class itself. So you can always use props, you can always change a position to suit your body and normally teachers are really great at, at adding in these different modifications that you can do. So please don't ever think you go to a class and freak out or panic because you can't do a pose. I'm speaking from experience because I used to do that. Teachers will always come and give you something that you can do instead, okay? There's always another way to do a pose and to feel what the teacher wants you to feel, okay? So always start gentle is definitely my first tip there. My second tip is to focus on the mind-body connection. Now, this can be a really hard one if you are coming to yoga or flexibility just thinking about the body. Sometimes it's hard to start getting into your head. Maybe you don't want to, maybe you don't know how to. For me, it was definitely, I did not know how to. But as you do more yoga, that mind-body connection is going to come. So don't worry too much if you jump into it and you think, I'm just not getting the whole mindfulness of this. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know why everyone loves yoga so much. Don't worry, the more you do it, the more you will start to see that. Yoga teachers are really, really great at kind of adding little snippets into classes to get you thinking and to help like carry that off of the mat as well. Sometimes it could just be one little sentence and that will stick with you for life. So it, yoga really emphasizes the mind-body connection. 
by promoting self-awareness. Okay, so it's always when you're in your, your yoga class, you are completely focused in on you and how you feel and how your body feels and accepting you for where you are. And that is definitely a really important thing when you're practicing flexibility, because a lot of the times we do want to push ourselves, right? If you're, if you're looking at a flexibility class, it's because you want to gain flexibility. You want to improve your body. So it's really hard sometimes to find that acceptance. So that is where the mind-body connection comes in. And that is where we have to accept where we are, relax into it, trust yourself that the more you show up, the more benefits you are going to gain. Okay. And the holistic approach isn't, isn't always for everybody. Okay. So if you're not feeling any of the spiritual mind stuff, don't listen to it. Just focus on your body. That's absolutely fine. The third thing to really focus on when you're trying to get into this is the strength and the flexibility. Okay, so yoga combines strength building exercises with the stretching and flexibility because they are so important and they do closely link. So sometimes you might not be able to gain flexibility because your body might be a little bit weaker. And you might notice that once you start working on some strength, the flexibility comes and vice versa as well. Sometimes you can't gain strength because your body might be a little bit tight. Okay, so strength and flexibility are very, very closely linked. This balance really helps to build muscle strength to support the joints to improve the flexibility, leading to everything that we have discussed today. Okay, so better joint health, better bone density, which is very, very important as you age, better mental health as well, better flexibility. All of these things come under this. Okay, so the fourth thing is stress reduction and well-being. Okay, so yoga incorporates breathing techniques normally. Every time we do a pose, we're saying, you know, big inhale, big exhale. We move with the breath. We relax in the poses, focus on our breath. And these help to release the body, release the tension, which releases stress. All stress is, is built up tension. Okay, so we're releasing that as we focus on our breath. This helps to calm the nervous system and to promote overall well-being. Okay, so once we start working on our body, the mind stuff does come as well. The great thing about this is that it can impact your sleep and your mental clarity. Okay, so when your sleep is better, when your mental clarity is better, you're going to start feeling so much better in your body and your mind. And that is also such a major thing that is really going to help as you age. Okay, so do we have any questions so far? So just quickly, just to go over those last four things of how yoga can really help to, to improve your body and your mind as you age. First one is modifications and doing kind of gentle yoga, right? Always start with a gentle and build yourself up. Second one, mind-body connection. Okay, we need a little bit of that mind-body connection to really help your mental, mental state. Third one is strength and flexibility. So working on those two are really, really great to improve your body. And then the fourth one is stress reduction. Okay, so yoga can really help to improve your sleep, improve your mental clarity. So all of that is just going to be so impactful in your life. Is that a word, impactful? I think so. Um, it's really going to do, do wonders. So give it a go. If you're wondering where to start, I've got a free YouTube channel with really short classes. So you can go and check that out if you want to just get into the habit of starting yoga and starting these short classes. If you are ready to go all in, then check out my membership. I've got an app. I'm just trying to find the link actually. Um, and in there we have a five day free trial. So come and join the free trial. You can cancel anytime. And in there we have um, 30 minute classes. So they're a little bit longer. So if you are ready to go all in with that, come and join us for 30 minute classes. We've got, I think there's over 50 classes now in the app and there's two live classes weekly in September that's going up to three. So come and check that out. Thank you so much for joining me and I will 
join you next week in our next chat. Thank you so much.